Hello everyone, this is Bodhika Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode we began chapter 3. Uh, we have an interesting scene at the restaurant where we all meet up in the morning with Hyoko having created this memorial to Mahiru and everybody was horrified by it. Uh, and now there is a new island for us to explore. So we are in the hospital right now. So there's a bulletin here. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so who is this notice written for? Good question. Okay, hospital hallway. The patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, that's fine if I leave it to Mikon. Okay, then I guess that's it for us. Okay, let's get to the next space, which is the Titty Typhoon. Ooh, fun. It's very adult. <laughs> A very adult title. I wonder if what it said in Japanese. Okay, music venue parking? This building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Uh, I'm just checking to see if I see any Monokuma figures, but... So far, no. Okay. The music venue makes sense that Ibuki's excited. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> the truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. That's totally it. Cause this is a music venue, right? Yeah, looks like it. I love music. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Huh? Did I just say that twice? Huh? huh? Did I just say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. Well, weirder than usual. No Not at all. I'm totally fine. No okay, Ibuki, please. Wow. Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Wow. Oh my god, Ibuki. You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me! Like, let me buy you! I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check out another place. She's cute, but she's also kind of annoying. Like, girl, leave me alone. Why do you want to bite him? Are you a vampire? You kinky like that? Okay, there's a lot of uh, interesting stuff here. See, bar, tequila, beer. <laughs> uh, what's up, Sonia? Amazing. What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. No. Disco? It is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. No. I have no clue what Sonia's talking about. Like... Like, two or three different eras all mixed up in one. Uh, what am I looking at? The stage? There's a stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. Why do you want to be in the limelight? Uh, storage room? It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. I might as well check inside. Oh, he was actually willing to check. Okay. Guitars. See the lighting, the the yellow holographic look to it. I'm surprised he's not even commenting on that. 
There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. Guess there's nothing special here we need right now. Is there a Monokuma figure anywhere? Monokuma, are you here? No? Really? Huh. Okay, I guess not. Okay, let me thoroughly check this place one more time before I leave. Monokuma? No? Alright. And not out here either. Uh, the island. Anyway. Okay, now there's a motel here. Strange. Each island is very strange. It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. It's supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a run-down motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. Oh, you're back to being a little bitch, I see. Anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. Wow, I will smack you. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But, but we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey! You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying... Praise a fool, and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So... Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. She deserves a lot of terrible things to happen. Oh, there's a car? A, like a really old beat-up one. A run-down, rusted, and rotting car someone abandoned. Huh, <laughs> maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Okay. A motel itself, I guess. It's a bunch of similar-looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same, too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a crime movie. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Okay, nothing else then. Okay. And one more, right? Yeah, this uh, electric avenue. Personal computer. That looks weird. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alley. It's kind of weird. Is that a wire? Or actual e electricity? What? Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. Definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. And definitely dangerous. Okay. Nice. Uh, what else? Boyer Corner. Television corner, laptop corner, parts corner, cell phone corner. Okay. Let's start from left to right. <laughs> what is this? 
There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clues what they're used for. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. You're a little young. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there. It's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret, secret videos? Uh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. Yeah, probably. Ugh, are you serious? Ugh, are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Of course not. Ugh, don't you say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier? Ooh. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why? Why do you feel so conflicted? There's all this machinery lined up here. Ah, oh, damn! I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Aw, oh, man. But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that, and that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah! It's like, if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take her clothes off, right? Oh my god. You want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where parts of her bones stick out, right? Dude, that's not normal. <laughs> that's not normal. That's a pretty acrobatic... Acrobatic? What? Sex fetish. You serious? Seriously? I'm a freak? Uh. I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. <laughs> There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. Looks like they're not designed for ter terrestrial digital broadcasting. Why are you using that word? That's strange. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Okay. I know, terrestrial, like Earth, but it's just a weird phrasing. See, that green lighting is up there again. Strange. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know. If we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. I try to see if you'll connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy. But just when I was about to give up... Oh? My eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X file. What is this? Without thinking, I click that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This ho horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Speak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus, and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, 
provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Oh, the letters are disappearing. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put to an end, put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond that point. But what is this? Boy, so proud. Oh, Monokuma, long time no see. Hmm, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now I'm really angry. <laughs> hey, don't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it, oh, could it be? Are you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my. What makes you think that? The cup. BKs? <laughs> Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? What a stupid name. Riots in various parts of the world? And Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And? And? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What, what do you mean? I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life. So it can't be helped. Oh. While well, we're on the subject of stupid things, the file said something about students who survived. Is that... Is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a sec, you guys. Hey, hey. Just... What the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no images. Music with no sound. Novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. So you can't say something this simple. Doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know an important story like that. Because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. Uh-huh. Parts corner. There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these look old. Do they even still work? I don't know. What's up, Chiaki? Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Chiyoki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well, yeah. I was wondering if there were any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Huh, so that's what you're doing. Um, I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. That well, was really nice, Hajime. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Yeah, that's true. A microwave. Hmm. Teru Teru would have never used this old microwave. 
He would have proudly used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but that's no longer. Man, that's sad. So this is the old cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Okay, anything else? Uh, okay, then I guess that's it for here. Guess we thoroughly searched this whole island, huh? Oh! Oh wait, there's one more place, isn't there? The movie theater. Hey, it's Goromi. I've never seen you before. You're kind of cute in your own way. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. It's like ooh ooh ooh. <laughs> okay. There we go. Wizard of Monami. Wild Gunman Monokuma. Movie theater lobby. Welcome! Oh boy. We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? Of course. Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. You know you need to watch it because that way you'll know whatever's going on for the next murder. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie's no different than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece and not a rip-off of anything at all. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you going to do about it? The There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it, but... What are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? Huh. He looks so tiny. <laughs> uh, let's look around. Outside, information, ticket. Look how blurry it all looks. Food corner. Goods corner. Oh, there's another one. Do it. Oh, would you look at that. Huh, a poster that looks very familiar, like something my girlfriend Coco is playing right now. <laughs> She's actually just streaming the game, uh, Ultra Despair Girls. Which, uh, when this game came out, that game hadn't even come out yet, so that's interesting. This is the one game of the Danganronpa series. I don't think I'm gonna play, you guys. I hope you don't mind. It's a video game poster. Hmm, looks interesting. It's a very different game. I'm definitely gonna buy that. And Binx is definitely not interested in playing it. It's not that it's bad, it's just very different from what I remember seeing. I, I lost so much interest in it that I barely could get through it. <laughs> so I don't even remember half of what happens. Or I should say more than half. It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Alright. 
There's some strange goods on top of the counter. I'm sorry I was born stupid. <laughs> this one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monami's face on it. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. So, how about it? Wanna buy it? No. I'll pass. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be upfront with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle-working priest. And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me. I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. Whoa, I'm surprised. You're going to be in debt to me forever. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even 1.5 million dollars. You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 million dollars for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. You know, you're going to have to see it eventually, right? <laughs> Especially if it's connected to the murder. But if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Come on, take it, thief. And slap it on your forehead, thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> well there, looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires. At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door leading into the theater. Oh? The door opened violently, and one person appeared from within. Why is he saying that out loud? Oh, it's you. Hey, hey. Ah! Nagito! Please answer my questionnaire! Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Um... Yes. Well, I guess that's what art is. Because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagito is so depressed, the movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. <laughs> Do I have to talk to him? Yes. Ugh, I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told... If you were told you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie... That's I'd gladly nice. pay it. Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? <laughs> Well, Hajime, after Nagito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. <laughs> Apparently I can watch Monokuma's specially made move, uh, movie. Typos a lot in this case, huh? However, I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker, but it cost 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. 
Alright, well, I guess we can just go then. Please wait. Hajime, over here, please hold on. Sonia, did something happen? Well? Just now, I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. Uh, what are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan's legendary medical drama. That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It is about a righteous rookie doctor and elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We'll be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Okay. Oh, you're Hello here there. too. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. How the hell did you beat me if you were still inside the theater when I left? <laughs> the power of hope. Ugh. Well, I think we're gonna leave this right here, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye!